much. Uh, the Wounded Warrior Project is amazing. So when the book was coming out, I wanted some of the profits of the book to go to a worthy organization. So I'd heard about these guys. They were just starting up, and they were in Baltimore, Maryland, where they uh, somebody had made a documentary film about about the project and about uh, one of one of the kids whose lives they were following, whose life had been impacted by the work of the Wounded Warrior Project. Are there any veterans here? Are there, yeah. So you, yeah. So thank you for your service. Um, but it was amazing to discover that somebody who'd been wounded uh, in, uh, would wake up in a hospital and not have anything, that they, that they weren't provided for, that they didn't even have the basics, like a toothbrush. Mm. And, and so the Wounded Warrior Project, they knew that, and so they would get a backpack and they'd put some uh, toothpaste, a toothbrush, maybe a Walkman, uh, some, some sh shoes and socks sometimes. I mean, just basic things that, that kids would, coming from the field wouldn't have when they, when they woke up in the hospital. And then the most important part after, after they get out of the hospital is rehabilitating them, rehabilitating them, helping them get back, to rotate back into the normal world. And, and so that's what the Wounded Warrior Project does. That they, they, uh, I, I've done uh, bicycle rides with them from Death Valley to Oceanside, California. Um, get kids with it, lost both of their legs and hand crank bicycles and the whole idea is to try to make them whole, to put them back together and make them feel uh, home, to make, help them to come home and um, what's important for us to know is that when we see the, the physical pain that people have suffered, losing arms and legs and stuff, it's a tremendous cost but the people who who I've met that have been most troubled are the people that don't have any bullet wounds, that don't have any burns, that haven't lost any arms or legs. That the, the, the psychological damage of war, as I said with Private Joker, that the, that the real cost of war is what you have to spend the rest of your life with in your mind that you can't erase. And, and you know, we have to do everything we can as, as, uh, as uh, citizens, as fathers, as uh, mothers, brothers and sisters and in, in, in doing what we can to help them. There's a terrible tragedy happening right now where almost 30 veterans are killing themselves, taking their own lives every day. And it's extraordinary, it's unprecedented in our country's history.